You've heard of identity theft, but did you know your child can also experience identity theft? Hi neighbors, Katherine Newman, real estate agent with Alice and James, here for adulty things you should know with five tips for protecting your child's identity. is the act of using a minor's social security number or personally identifiable information for fraudulent activities such as applying for loans or credit cards using the minor's information. Child identity theft is steadily on the rise because new lines of credit often go undetected by parents since the minor's identity is not being used or monitored. The most recent Experian Child Identity Theft Survey shared that 82% of child theft victims' social security number was stolen, with 44% of the victims being between the ages of 15 and 17. So, here are five steps parents and guardians can take immediately to protect their minor's identity. Most options are free and only require a few minutes of time and attention. I'm going to fix it. That's why I have to go on this trip. Number one, understand their school's information policy. The Federal Trade Commission recommends keeping track of the companies you've shared your child's social security number and other PII with, including schools. Always carefully review each form before completion and always ask why their PII is needed, how it will be used, with whom it will be shared, and how will it be stored? Two, safeguard your child's social security number. The first line of defense to protect your child against ID theft is to guard their social security number. If possible, only give their SSN if necessary for medical or tax purposes. Is the criminal who stole your identity. Oof, boy, he's a, uh, is that a woman? Sandy Bigelow, Patterson. <laughs> Every day Three, Freeze your child's credit for free. Since September 2018, the Economic Growth, Regulatory Relief, and Consumer Protection Law allows parents and guardians to freeze and unfreeze their child's credit on their behalf until they're 16. Four, invest in professional identity monitoring and recovery services. Now, it may not prevent the child's identity from being compromised, but Investing in ID theft protection can mitigate any fraud that may occur and also offer recovery assistance to secure your child's personal ID again and prevent further damage. What? Run! Take the babies! Go to your rooms! And five, keep track of your paper trail and digital files to help prevent your child's information from easily falling into the wrong hands. If you feel your child has been a victim of identity theft, report it immediately with the Federal Trade Commission, online or by phone. And encourage your child to keep their social security number to themselves with the card stored safely away. Plus, teach your child to never give out personal information via phone, text, email, or social media. Teach them how to make complicated passwords for each online account and not use the same password for different accounts. Uh, it's saying the server went down. Does anybody know that password? Because otherwise we can't do any work. Trey Big Boobs with a Z. That's the password we're in. I'm Katherine Newman. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Adulty Things You should know.